today I'm going to talk about the magical days of the week. But before I continue, I just want to tell you about something new I've brewed up. I'm now offering personal response videos on a new site called Wizio. So if you need any help with creating spells or have any general questions about magic and witchcraft, you can ask me and I'll send a personal video response directly to you. Make sure to use the code AD10 for 10% off until January 8th, 2021. I'm so excited to be able to help you guys even more with your personal paths. So, when it comes to the days of the week, you may have noticed that in languages such as Spanish and French, they sound similar, and that's because the five Romance languages that evolved from Latin, except for Portuguese, feature the days of the week that are based on Roman gods. But since English is a Germanic language, which stems from Old English, the language of the Anglo-Saxons, its days of the week are named after Anglo-Saxon gods. So I'm going to be talking about both the Anglo-Saxon gods and the Roman gods that rule each of these days because they actually have a lot in common. You'll notice that while the gods' names are different, they're quite qualities intersect and similarly influence the magic that can be formed on their specific days of the week. So with all that said, let's get on to the magical days of the week. Sunday is named after the Anglo-Saxon sun goddess, Suna. She's often seen riding a wagon on a cart across the sky and helps to guide travelers during the day with her light. She of course, as the sun, is the strongest during the summer solstice. In Latin-derived languages, though the Romans did have a sun god called Sol, Sunday is actually named after the Sabbath or the Lord's Day. Since the sun's light guides us along our path, magic performed on Sundays helps to promote guidance and understanding, and when using sympathetic magic is represented by the metal gold and the color yellow. It's also good to perform magic for healing, friendship, happiness, divine intervention, children, and success. Monday is named after the Anglo-Saxon god Mona, who's often seen riding a wagon across the sky at night, and you can see its face reflected on the moon. The Anglo-Saxons had a syndiotic or moon-based calendar, which coincided with the cycles of the moon, so Mona governs both the cycles of life and the cycles of time. The moon also catches its light from the sun, so it has the added guidance from Suna, which helps promote imagination, illusions, and dreams. It's represented by the metal silver and the color white. In Latin-derived languages, Monday is named after the moon goddess Luna, who symbolizes new beginnings, transformation, female energy, intuition, and the cycles of time. You want to perform magic that has to do with tapping into your intuition, invoking your power, healing, nurturing growth, water magic, moods and behaviors which can change depending on the cycles of the moon, change, transformation, and divine messages. Tuesday is named after the Anglo-Saxon god of justice, order, community, and war. As told in the Eddas, to bind a monster called Fenris, Two stuck his own hand into its mouth, which was then bitten off. The monster suspected that the gods were trying to trick him, so it told them that one of them would need to stick his hand in its mouth for insurance. Fenris was correct in his suspicions and bit off Two's hand as punishment. So Two sacrificed his hand for the greater good, and his deception came with a price, which he then accepted. Because of this, he's the ultimate god of justice and sacrifice, but he also protects and helps those that are deserving of it. He also rules the North Star called Polaris, which helps travelers find their way at night. He's called the Sky God and once ruled the realm of Ostiard, but passed on his duties to Woden, who's now the king of the gods. In Latin-derived languages, Tuesdays are named after the Roman god Mars, who's a fiery nature and represents male strength. He's the son of Jupiter and was originally the god of agriculture, but then became the god of war. His is a planet of action is represented by iron and the color red. Spells performed on Tuesdays are used for protection, taking risks, willpower and courage, transformation, self-reliance, action, truth, and justice. When doing spells for justice, just remember that if you're hoping to get what you want, make sure that you're truly worthy of it. Wednesday is named after Woden, the Anglo-Saxon god of speech, wisdom, and the dead. Woden discovered the runes and a reflection of water after wounding himself with a spear and hanging on the world tree as a self-sacrificial ritual to gain wisdom for nine days and nine nights. He's also called the Allfather and rules the Osiar, which is the realm of the gods. For Latin-derived languages, Wednesday is named after the Roman god Mercury, who is the god of communication. He was a scribe and a messenger of the gods and was also the god of commerce, travel, and was an incredible athlete and a patron of thieves and tricksters. His planet is represented by the color brown and the metal mercury, which is also called quicksilver. Wednesdays are good for spells that involve inspiration and runic magic, communication, problem solving and making decisions, divination, writing, sports, and games. 
Thursday is named after Thunor, the Anglo-Saxon god of storms, thunder, and weather. His name means thunder, and he's the strongest of all the gods and has an intense temper. The Anglo-Saxons believed that the sound of thunder was Thunor striking his hammer down on his anvil, and that lightning was a spark that resulted from that strike. He also has red hair and a red beard, unlike the Marvel depiction of Thor, who's blonde. He's the protector of man and keeps away the fire and frost giants with his hammer. Quartz crystals, which are also called thunderstones, are crystals of Thunor and can be used to represent him on an altar as well. In Latin-derived languages, the Roman god Jupiter represents Thursdays. Overthrowing his father Saturn, the former sky god, Jupiter became the king of the gods and also ruled the sky, lightning, thunder, and storms. His planet is called the Greater Benefit Planet because it's a planet of gifts and good fortune and it's represented by tin and the color blue. Spells performed on Thursdays are generally used for protection, good luck, abundance, spiritual development, travel, finances, and legal matters. Friday is named after the Anglo-Saxon goddess Freya, who is Woden's wife and the goddess of marriage, childbirth, and the home. In Latin-derived languages, Friday was represented by Venus, the Roman goddess of love, fertility, gardens, vineyards, and beauty, who is the daughter of Jupiter and the lover of Mars. Her planet is called the Lesser Benefit Planet because it's the planet of good fortune, but less than Jupiter, and is represented by copper and the color green. Fridays are good for love magic, relationships, peace, harmony, emotions, fertility, protection in business endeavors, children, home, and friendships. Saturday is a day that was influenced by Saturn, the Roman god of time and the harvest. The reason why the Anglo-Saxons named this day after Saturn is a mystery, but as Alaric Albertson mentioned in his book Wordworking, it's possible that they didn't believe that any of their gods represented the day well enough. Saturn's planet is the one that recognizes hard work and rewards us for it, and teaches us harsh lessons about ourselves. Saturn is a universal planet of career, status, and business, and is represented by the metal lead and the colors gray and black. In some Latin derived languages, Saturday can be represented as another day for the Sabbath. For example, in Spanish, the word sabado, which means Saturday, stands for the Hebrew word Shabbat, meaning Sabbath, or a day of rest at the seventh day of the week. So Saturdays are good for magic that has to do with commitment, releasing bad habits, endings, earth magic, career, overcoming obstacles, patience and limitations, disciplines, cycle of time, rebirth, and karma. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope this helps with any spells you're looking to perform in the next coming weeks. Let me know what your favorite day of the week to perform spells is in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time.